Welcome to the Metal Prognosis, my name is Lee and on today's video I have the Fender Metal Distortion Pedal that I've never used before. So like a lot of my videos, we're going to plug this in and try it out for the first time together. We're going to hook it up with this bad beast here in Drop G and see how it goes. So cue the cute little cardoon intro, start plugging stuff in and let's start having some fun. All right, now I've got everything set up, ready to go. This is the sound that we've got straight off the bat before we engage it. Boring, bland, crap, not what we want. So what do we got here on this pedal? Uh, a high, low, level and gain. So let's get this bad beast on. Give it some level. So I'm gonna to have to give it some gain to really help it open up its. Still a bit soft, but we've got the lows and highs all the way down. Can't really actually see where I'm dialing it, but I'll try, put it as best as I can, it's half-ish. Let's see if we can clean this up a bit. So, straight off the bat. It's not too bad, it's doing its, doing its thing. But let's take out a little bit lows because it's a little bit muffled at the moment in the low end. Crank the highs up fully. Maybe just roll back just a little. Might have to fix those levels up a little bit in the post edit because it sounds a lot better now where it's got a little bit more oomph to it. Let's see if adding a bit more gain now because we've got, whoop, bumped it, sorry, a little. Give it a bit more. So this is max gain now. I'm very surprised it hasn't broken up the sound so much that it's unusable. Still a little bit muffled. It sounds decent with chords.
but when you start giving it a little bit of a Quite enough game to get those cool squeaks. What well, if we crank it? All right, let's find just a nice happy medium. Not too bad, not too bad. So let's take a quick step away from the camera. I'll do a bit of a jam. We'll double up on the guitars, add some bass and drums, and let's see how this sounds more in a band mix. Because uh, I think I'm at the point now where the little changes I'm making are very minute and small and comes down, well, it all comes down to personal preference, but uh, there's not much gain um, from an entertaining perspective, uh, trying to <laughs> run through the little niggly parts. So we'll leave it at that. The show must go on. So sit back, relax, enjoy the jam, and I'll meet you on the other side for a quick chat. And there we go, that's what the Fender Metal Distortion pedal sounds in a full band mix, doubling up on the guitars with some bass and some drums just quickly put together. Um, now we did give it a little bit of a harder challenge, going with such a low tuning bass uh, to work with. So I'm not gonna punch down on this, not at all. I think it's pretty rad, it's pretty cool. Um, it does have a slight dad rock touch to it, but it's Fender, so not surprised, <laughs> not surprised. They have a certain market, they have a, an audience that they cater to, and my obsessive gentiness probably isn't that market at all, or my black metal kind of vines. Uh, but doesn't mean that's as bad. It's very fun still putting it together and uh, seeing how it all holds up. I might have to do a video where I put my Fender to my Fender Hot Rod to see how that can work together and how they pair. Um, so can it do metal? Yeah, it can. But is it the middle you like? Well, that's entirely up to you. Only you can answer that one. But thank you very much for joining me uh, in this video. Oh, I will say too, this casing, um, during this I keep touching it like that because it's got a really nice surface, a nice metal case. And, um, you're not meant to handle these. They're designed to go on the ground and for your foot to turn on and off. But um, yeah, just worth noting. It's got a very pleasant, pleasant surface to it or whatever that's worth. So thank you very much for joining me in this video. It's lots of fun putting it together and mucking around with a uh, new little studio light setup that I've got going. Uh, but definitely keen for your thoughts. How did you feel about how the metal 
Fender did. Did you think it did as good as what you thought or a little bit better or not quite as far as what you're hoping it to be? Uh, so definitely keen to hear your thoughts then. So thank you very much for joining me and I thoroughly look forward to chatting forward to chatting with you next time. What a great starter to finish this video on. So on that, I'm gonna say goodbye.